everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello, what is up? How is everybody doing? Man, we are back again doing another tutorial today. We're in our 114 world, doing some 114 style builds, using as many of the new blocks as we can, and building a pretty cool medieval house. I got a little bit of a foundation right here, and I want to see if I can build it with you guys on okay, Cavity Can and see if you like it. Let me know. Uh, also, let me know if there's any other build styles, types, anything you want that you've been looking for that you haven't seen and you want me to build i uh, might build in one of these upcoming episodes and also we're using our boy germs and boys pack so if you guys want to download this texture pack it's the greatest vanilla pack in the history of vanilla packs in the world is downstairs in the description go knock it at it. It, it open the door pick it up download it try it out for yourself it's the best uh and Let's start building. So, <laughs> right here, if you, got, you guys want to check out that previous one also, it's a little link in the description. Go check it out. That one is the coolest little storage house ever. Uh, and I'm going to see if I can keep the theme kind of going so we can kind of uh, have it in the same palette as that. Really cool. But let's get to the tippy top. These are the dimensions. Super simple for now. I'm going to build it with you guys right now. It's like a little porch right here to get to the front of this side here. And then there's a little overhang so we can put some outdoor storage, maybe in a little barn, or maybe a little stable, baby stable right there. Uh, and then this is the main structure of the house. But let's start building this. So I'm going to go too high with the cobble. So let's start counting these blocks so you can see how we set it all up. So this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Then you're going to turn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and then another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and another 11, just cover that up. Now this little extension here, it's pretty much just going by one, and then one, two, three, four, this way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then close that off with another three right there. So that's super simple, two little boxes, side by side, two little rectangular boxes right there, we're looking pretty. Now another quick little thing I wanna do is I wanna texture this just a little bit with uh, the stone like this just a smooth stone around here just randomly texturing it just so you can have a little bit of uh, block variation so it's not just one plain old cob all the way down so something like so let me do this real fast so it's something really simple just tweaking it moving it around let's go something like this looks just right and also let's get a couple in here even though you're not going to really see this one but i know it's there uh let's also get a little bit of stone regular old stone brick not the infested one that's infested where's the good one there it is and just a little bit of stone just a little splattering of stone around like so and right now we're in the snapshot, so you don't have those really cool connected textures with Optifine, uh, but one day it's gonna happen. <laughs> so right there, a little bit of stone, and yeah, perfect. I think that's really good. Now, let's get rid of you. We're never gonna touch those uh, until probably later on. Uh, but let's go ahead and work on the little uh, doorway entrance. So right here, I'm gonna go with some of the oak logs, and we're just gonna go up by one, two, and three. Give it a space of one, one, two, three. Space of one, one, two, three. Space of two, one, two, three. And then let's grab our spruce slabs. And we're just gonna go in just like this. We're gonna go in right here, right there. Come all the way around with it like uh, so. Oh, I'm falling, like so. And then we're gonna grab some stairs and we're just gonna go down with it just like so and so. So that's gonna go down on this end, just like that. And then we're gonna grab, actually let's extend that to that point right there, perfect. Let's grab some fence and I'm just gonna go around like this just to cover all the edges here so nobody falls down. Um, and then we'll, I think I'm gonna go up a little more just so we can do a little overhang, but for now let's leave it how it is uh, so we can work on the main structure and then we'll add a little uh, overhang roof to that. Uh, looking cool though, right? I like it. Now let's go ahead and uh, from here uh, we're gonna start doing some stuff. So let's grab the oak log right and I'm gonna go right here on the edge and I'm gonna go right from here we're gonna go up okay we're gonna go up one two three four five okay go right here one two three four five we're gonna cross beam that right there okay we're gonna go all the way to this end we're gonna go again one two three four five and we're gonna go again over here on this end one two three four five we're gonna cross beam right here we're gonna cross beam right here. We're gonna just cover this box up right now from one end to the other with cross beams. There we go. So that's our first little layer, okay? Cool. Now, I'm gonna go right up in the middle here. I'm gonna go with another beam going straight up. So we're gonna have uh, some nice stuff that you watch. Uh, now, we're gonna turn here to the side. We're gonna put another beam right here. We're gonna put another beam right here. So we're gonna give it a space of two here, space of three, space of two, just like that on this end. On this side, we're gonna repeat it. We're gonna mirror it right here in the middle, just like so. 
and then right here on this side we're gonna mirror what we have on the other side so we're just gonna go up and right about there so a space of two three two so we're mirrored all of that together looking very very lovely now on this side come with me uh we're gonna go ahead and just come up from this end one two three four and this one we're gonna go a little lower so just four on that one one two three four on that one let's cross beam right up the middle just like so and then on this one we're gonna go up one two three and four and then we're gonna cross beam right here uh, on this side, we're gonna go up one, two, three, four, and we're gonna cross beam in here. And on this end, let's just cross beam right on this side as well. Perfect, just like that. Uh, on this end, we're just gonna do it right up in the center, right here, just like that. And we say space is three and a space of three right on inside, right there. Look, it's so cool, I love it. Okay, now uh, let's work on the next uh, little bit. Now I'm gonna go ahead, just for now, we're gonna cover everything up with some white terracotta and some uh, non-polished diorite, okay? Trust me, we're just gonna go like this. Let's just cover it all up. And then I'm gonna mix in a little bit of the diorite, just like that. Look how cool, oh, it looks like a nice beat up piece of that uh, white stone like that. Look at it, it looks like it originally, it was perfect and then it started deteriorating. Uh, so we're just gonna do that to everything and we'll pop in windows after. So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna cover all this up first with the concrete and then we're gonna come in here and splatter some of that diorite in here. Hold on, let's go all the way up like this. Let's go here too. And then I'll come back and I'll do the little diorite piece. Let's go like this. And some of these we're gonna mess with it, okay? So, so some of these we're gonna make it look really, really cool. Uh, over here, let's do, you know what? Here, we're just gonna go with some upside down stair. Uh, that's not stair, that one. <laughs> double, double that, and we're gonna make a two wide doorway right there, cool. All right, so we have all this here. Let's now sprinkle some of that diorite around like this. And it doesn't matter if we're gonna knock some of these away for windows later. I just wanna see if we can make a cool little bit of a texture job on this diorite piece here. Let's do something like that. Let's just mess with that one. Uh, something like so, and then something like this. Let's go with that here. Let's go with a corner bit and one there. Let's do a couple corner bits and one. Oh, that looks too mirrored. That looks too pure, too pretty. Uh, something like that. Perfect. Okay, so we have this going for us right now. Now, next up, uh, let's go right here. I'm gonna do a little pop out, a uh, little extension. So we're gonna pop this out right here. We're gonna pop this out right there. So that's looking really cool. We're gonna go on this side. We're also gonna pop it out right here. Pop it up right there. Now, we're gonna go with the next floor level on this uh, bad boy. And we're gonna go right here, we're gonna go up. So from here, we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five again. One, two, three, four, five again. Do it over here on this side. One, two, three, four, five, and one, two, three, four, and five. Now, down here, we're gonna just come down with this lovely uh, white uh, little concrete right there. Okay, for now, just go like that. Uh, we're gonna go also in here, we're gonna do a, a little beam going just this direction like so. So we're changing it up a little bit. Let's go with a beam going straight down like this. And then also we're gonna go with that white right there, that little border of white, look at very cool. And we're gonna mess with that, watch. So let's go again. We're gonna go with that beam going this way. And then we're gonna do it again on this side. So all the way down, we're gonna go with that white piece right in the middle again. And then we're gonna come back in here and we're gonna mess it up with the diorite. right? That's right. Uh, so let's come over here, let's mess with that, mess with these. Let's mess with a couple on this end. And this is just randomly. You don't have to do exactly where I'm putting mine. Uh, just mess with it a little bit. Make, make it look a little run down grungy. Uh, so there we go. So that looks pretty good. Maybe a big strip right there. Nice, okay. So it's looking like this for now. Looking awesome. Now, let's add some details. I'm gonna go down here and do some upside down stairs on every other one. And I'm gonna go with some slabs on the other one. So it gets that little trim looking good all the way around. Let's do it again on this side so upside down stairs here trim right there with the slabs oh, I love that so much now we're also gonna work on a little bit more support structures here let's go with some more upside down stairs on these two and let's go with some more upside down stairs on these two as well and again we'll pop in the windows after okay now let's go now with some lovely details uh, let's go in here I'm gonna work on where we're going to put uh, the beam so we could just do let's see if I can come up with a good one hold on let's see I think right there so a two a two a two and a two so it's two spacer two spacer two spacer that looks awesome now let's go again one two three 
one, two, three, and a two space in between every other one, looking really cool. Now, on this side, let's do something cool. Uh, let's go, let's start on, on the front end. Okay, now I'm gonna go with just a line right here, and then we're gonna do a big uh, window on this end. Let's go with the same, but kind of mirrored in reverse. Let's go right here, and let's give it a three gapper right there on this side. Now, let's work on the top of this roof. So, the way I wanna do this is, first off, let's, let's make it simple. Let's do what we did down here. Let's cover everything up again with our lovely old white concrete diorite combo. So, I'm just gonna go all the way around. Let's do just like we did before, cover all this up, and then we'll go ahead and texture it with the diorite. So, let's finish this off, and then we'll work on roofs. So we're gonna do a nice little roof for this one and a cool nice big roof for this middle part right here uh, You'll see it's gonna come out nice. I promise now Let's go over here and just texture a little bit Right about like that and again totally random doesn't have you don't even need to put this you could leave the white Clean if you want a clean old house without any messes, you know uh, like this <laughs> You could just do it also like that, but I just want to mess with it I want to make it look a little more lived in a little more like it's been through some history. Okay, uh, so something like this There we go. So that's looking really really cool. Look at that. Okay now Let's work on a roof on this thing. So first off, what I want to do is, uh, I want to go ahead, I want to see if I can lift this up with a nice peak in the middle and it's kind of smaller on the side. So this is what I want to do. We're going to work on spruce uh, on the outer trim and we're going to do some brick on the other side. So let me actually, let me get some big, the big bricks. Uh, there we go. Let's do that, move that to the side, move this around. Let's see, let's put the big spruce as well and let's go okay so let's start here on this corner we're just gonna go right here on this edge do a little upside down stair actually you know what let's do the stair like this this time and then i'm gonna go with a just a regular old stair going up let's do an upside down stair here now here i want to make it a little taller so let's do it a little more fantasy uh so let's go up by one block like so and you know what let's do two let's do two full blocks and a stair and then let's do an upside down stair sideways like this. Now let's go with a single and up like that. So that is that look right there. Let's go with an upside down stair in the middle. Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go with a log pop out right here. And let's take that down. We're going to go with a full block. Let's go with a stair. And let's go with a stair like this for now. And we're going to tweak that around. So that's a nice roof size. I like that. Uh, let's go back down again this side. So we're going to go with a stair, full block, upside down stair this way two going down oh and this was like this huh? <laughs> and then we got an upside down stair here stair here and stair here and look at that that is cool i like that you know what i think we might even it might even look a little better with this sideways so we can see more of the white uh, you can do it either way but let, let's see what it looks like like this and we'll put an upside down stair like that yeah i think this might be a little better you get a little more uh from the back end oh i like that now, let's do this. Let's take this all the way down to the end, and we're gonna mirror this one more time. So let's take this also from here to the air, here to the air. <laughs> we're gonna go all the way to the end, and then let's pop this one out again. Let's do it one more time. So let's do uh, upside down stairs like this. Stair going down right here. Upside down stair here and here. Let's go with two up, stair, two up, stair. Upside downs on both sides. One up, stair, stair. <laughs> stair upside down uh, stair right there and a little pop out log going this way and then we can just meet it up right in the middle and if this is how you know how you got it perfect and we did very nice so full block here stair here stair here and then that is looking very very cool now this is what i'm gonna do uh let's go ahead and just cover this whole thing up in brick so let's go ahead i'm gonna do this real fast this is simple we're just gonna connect one side to the other there's nothing to this right now hold on all right, lovely. We got all the stairs put in place. All the bricks are done inside. Now we're going to detail it up. But before we do that, let's lift this thing up. So what I'm going to do is right here, we're going with a cross beam right there. Okay. And then the rest, let's go ahead. I'm going to do this. Let's go ahead and put a, a beam going straight down and then just white on this side, white on this side. And again, we're going to texture a little bit just like so. And that looks awesome. I love that. Let's go ahead and do it on the other side as well. This is super simple. We're gonna go right here with a cross beam. Right there, beam going right up the middle. 
and then let's just mix in some of the white and some more of the white right there perfect and a little texture job why not perfect though there we go so that's going on this side and the other side this is super awesome now let's work on before we do anything else detail wise here let's do this little roof on the side so for this one i want to go with an angle going up like so so let's go ahead and take this all the way down with our spruce upside down stair and let's see we're just gonna go straight up just like so just like so all the way until we get to the wall which is right there and that's a perfect clearance you still have enough like one block space uh in between the next side so let's go like this i'm gonna take it all the way up and then once we get to the top i'm gonna fill in the middle part with the brick one more time and can i fit you there yes i can uh and then brick all the way down from here and then we got to fill in the next section and that's going to be super simple we're just going to go ahead and fill it in with more of that white uh and make it look pretty cool so let's go all the way down like so and then here uh let's uh, fill some of this in actually for this guy i think we could take that straight down let's do that let's take that straight down i kind of like this beam where it is so i'm going to leave it and then we're going to cover this up and let's mix in some of that all right right there oh that looks so good let's go here on this side let's finish this up as well uh so take the beam all the way up let's come on in i'm gonna put all diorite on this now let's do one one little a white conquer right there perfect all right so there you go so that's our side on this uh now for this little piece here i was thinking about a little overhang but i think we could just cap these off by just doing something like so make it simple yeah i like that look at this house oh baby we're doing so good now next up uh let's work on the little outside part and then we'll pop in windows and pop in little details in a second but let's do this little outside piece uh so for this one i'm gonna go up by one two three let's do four and five let's do a five so we're gonna take it up one two three four five and then let's do this i want to do a little overhang here uh so let me see how this would probably uh, properly look uh if we start going uh down on this angle so i'm thinking if we take this up one two three one two three I think we can actually take it up one more and have a little bit more overhang. Let's take it up one more. So that'll be right underneath this layer. Let's take this up also another one. Uh, and let's see if we can do like a gradual little slope that goes down. Uh, if anything, let's try it with slabs on this. Uh, I'm gonna go right here, let's do this. I'm gonna try it like so. Let's take this down right here. Let's go bam, 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 bam. Just something like that, bam, 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 like that, right? <laughs> Let's see how this looks. Uh, actually, I think we might have to go a little higher because I wanted to go over this piece here. So let's do this, hold on, let, let's, let's take a step back. Let's take it from here. So I'm gonna go from here, let's go up, 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 and up. Okay, that's it, that's the angle we're doing. So let's do this, so right here, take it down, take it down, take it down, and we're gonna touch up right there oh that's it i think let's go now outside like so let's take it out one more level just so we can have a little bit of an overhang a little lip to it so let's go here 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 and i think if we do let's go out one more and then come around this direction like so and then take that down perfect oh baby that's it that's it now what we can do is Let's come in here with some slabs of brick so we can keep that same style going. And let's replace these, right? Replace these here because then this will all be brick, right? So let's take that here. You always wanna leave the outer border uh, being one color, well, for this case, for this style. And then the in part, we're gonna go with the other. So we're just pretty much matching what we're doing on this whole end. So cover this up, cover this up, and cover this up right about here. Oh, there it is. Oh, that is awesome. All right, I'm loving this. Uh, so uh, we could fence this in. Uh, let's do something here. Let's cover this up right about here. Let's do a little, a little lovely little work here. Let's do another one right here. I'm gonna go with some fence again. And we're gonna go with regular old spruce fence and we're just gonna fence this part up right here. So fence, fence here. And then we have this whole area here. We can do anything here. We can make this into a little storage. We can make this into a stable. We can make this into a little animal pen. We can do a little garden here, whatever you want. So let's leave this open. Let's also get some gates so you have a little more protection in case there's any bad guys coming. 
And that's it for that. That looks perfect for that. Now, other little, little bits of details we need to do is put windows, number one. Number two, I wanna put a little uh, chimney right here. And on the other side, I wanna add uh, maybe a little more detail. So let's do this. So first off, let's put a big window. Uh, I'm gonna go with a window right here. Uh, let's actually, you know what would be cool? If we do maybe a triple window here. Let's see what this would look like. Actually, no, I think a double, I think, or a single, hmm. Let's just go with one big window like this. Let's go with an upside down stair and a stair here. So we got a window right there. Cool. Uh, let's go ahead and do also another little tiny window right here. So we have two windows here. What if, let me just see what this would look like. If you do a big triple window. So I, was, I was thinking about a big triple. Ooh, I think that's unique and I like that style. Let's go with that. One single and a triple side like that. Oh, that looks good. I like that. Now, let's do another window right here. And let's do, you know what? I'm not gonna put a window on this one. Let's put a single window here. Uh, we can go like this and like so. Oh, that looks so good. Up here, I'm not gonna put any windows. Let's leave that like that. Uh, here, let's do, uh, I would say just to change it up, let's put a window right here. Uh, and let's, I guess that's gonna be a single one like that. We could do something like that. Uh, and then I'm gonna put another one right here on this side like so. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. Uh, on the back end, let's just put one window. I'm gonna not mirror it completely. Just gonna put one window right here. I'm gonna leave this side clean like so. Back here, I'm just gonna put a window right here. Uh, actually, no, let's put one on this side or both of them, let's see. Uh, I think I'm gonna put it right on this side and over here, I'm gonna cover this up. I'm gonna cover this up. And let's do a little splatter like that, perfect. Uh, that's, I think that's good. On this end, I might go with a single window here and a single window right here. And we're just gonna cover these here and cover this right there. That looks so good. I'm thinking about putting windows here on this end, but I kind of like how it looks clean. But on this end, I wanna put, uh, I think I wanna put something, something nice. How about, hmm, which side would look good? I think here. Yeah, right here, I'm gonna put right in the middle. Maybe a little off to the side so it's not symmetrical. Like right here, you see where these two are? I'm gonna go right in here. Let's knock this out right here. Let's knock this out right here. And I'm gonna do a little fireplace chimney action right here. Now for this, let's see what style we're gonna go with. I'm thinking just bricks. Let's not, like the, um, let's do, hmm. You know what, let's just go with regular old bricks. Let's see. So stone brick, and we can do a little bit of, uh, so some cobblestone. Let's go with some cobble. How about some andesite too? Let's see, bam. Let's go with some walls. We're gonna go with, let's go with some andesite walls too. Uh, and let's see, a little andesite right there will break it up real nice. So for now, let's just go in. It's gonna go in by, let's see, two by uh, two. by two. Let's just go up with stone for now. Let's take this up over the house because I don't want anything to catch on fire. Uh, so let's take it right here to that end. I say we go up one more. There we go. Oh, it looks so good. What if I take this out so it kind of looks like everything's coming down together? Like so. Oh, I like that. Okay, now on the top, let's get some walls, some andesite walls. Oh, I like how it's darker. Oh, so good. And then let's come in here and sprinkle a little bit. What if we put some white? Is that too much? Yeah, it might be too much. <laughs> let's go ahead. I'm gonna just mix in some of the cobblestone. It's like this. Let's mix in a little bit more cobble on this side. Uh, mix a little more here, here, here. Uh, let's also bring in some of the andesite. It's a little darker. Looks a little more rugged or ru more run down. Like that. Like that. Like that. I like that. Now, let's grab some stairs of cobble. And some of these are gonna go like this. Some of them are gonna go like this and maybe another one right here. Kind of breaks it up a little bit more. Uh, let's put one more down here like that. Oh, I like that. It looks a little busy though. I might get rid of the dark stuff. Let's get rid of all the dark things. Let's go ahead, I'm gonna replace these guys here with some smooth stone instead. Yeah, because it looks way too dirty. I don't want to be that dirty. I just like the dark part on the top. Uh, let's see, something like that, and then something like that. 
Oh, yes. All right. Nice. Now, let's add some windows. Uh, I think for windows. No, glass. <laughs> I think for the glass here, there's so many possibilities. I'm thinking just to go with the good old white since we have so much other white here. Or um, hmm, we can also go with red. It might look good. Let's see what looks the best. Uh, maybe even like a light gray. Let's see. This I think red might be too much. Yeah, red is, is too much. Throw that away. Uh, let's see the light gray or the good old white. Mm, I think light gray is going to do it. So I don't want it to pop out too much with that white, but I wanted to give a nice little tint uh, of, of lightness there. Let's go. There we go. Let's do that. Bam, bam, bam. That looks awesome. I think we got it. There we go. Oh, light gray looks so good. Man, this is the best pack in the world. Jerm, you're the best, man. Uh, and then something like that looks just great. I like that. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, baby. We did it. Okay, now, little bits of detail that we can add here just to give it a little bit more. Uh, I love me some buttons. Uh, let's grab some spruce buttons. Let's get some uh, trap doors. Uh, let's do buttons on the ends here of these exposed logs because I am a fiend for some exposed log buttons. That's like my favorite thing. So we're going to put one here. I'm going to put one there. Oh, it looks so good. Now, other little bits we could do is uh, we could throw in some shutters around here. Looking very cool. We could throw in... I, I don't think I want one there. Uh, we can, No, I think just on the little ones. I don't really think it really would look good here unless... Let's see. Uh, yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad here. It doesn't make any sense because it's a triple. Here, if we do it, it has to be something like so. Yeah, that looks good. I just don't want like it on the triple. Like here on the triple, I don't, I don't feel it. Like here, maybe. Uh, but if we do it like that, it just, eh, yeah. What now? I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave it without it. Oh, we forgot glass here. What am I even doing? It's not like a big door. What am I doing? Okay, so we have that done right there. Looking awesome. A little way up here, we could even add a little like cover down here so nothing sneaks in. Uh, <laughs> that looks awesome like that. Uh, can we put anything else in here? Wait, what if I do? Hmm, I think that looks a little better. And then we can have some kind of hidden thing down there. Maybe a little light shining. and people be like, what is down there? I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and put our door. And we are done with the build. I think it's looking amazing. Now, as far as interior, I might save this for another episode. Just interior episodes. And I've been wanting to do just interior episodes for the longest time. Uh, so I think I might come back and do it. But uh, right here, uh, you could put really any flooring. I'm thinking, if anything, a good old dark oak uh might look pretty what is that a uh, good old dark oak might look wonderful in this setting right here uh and then you can actually break this little piece off and take that down this way uh you can even add a cellar uh down here at any part outside might be the best place to actually have a little drop down cellar uh so i'll show you really quick where i would put it if i were to put one but since we're in a flat world you really can't see it's, it's you can't go deep enough uh and then this looks awesome Oh, baby. Might even get these beams out of here now. And then we have a pretty good layout of this house. Look at this. Oh, man, I really want to do an interior episode for you guys. Uh, but, okay, come here. Let's go real fast. If we were to do a cellar, uh, probably the best place to do one. We could even do one, like, right here or in the front. But, nah, I might save it for back here. A nice little cellar, little drop down, like, right here. You could do a definite cellar right here right there and I would just surround this right around like so so nobody falls in uh, and then maybe put some slabs right around like so maybe something like this 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 that and then just mix in a little bit of these lovelies right here just the texture like that and then have a little drop down cellar going down this direction Let's just get some stairs and just take it down and i think right here will be the best place for a cellar uh so i'll go like right here and just start going down 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 that'll be a perfect spot we can even maybe add a little bit here a little more detail and there's your cellar so drop a cellar down there also a little good thing you could do is you can cover it up uh, at one point if you want you know so nobody falls in you can cover up with trap doors on both ends so that'll be a little spot for a cellar and that is actually really really cool but let's take a little spin <laughs> what do you guys think is this cool you guys like this one i think this one came out really really cool i like it so much oh man let me know if you guys want to see any other style builds anything else at all 
I am so down to go build some more of this and this style. I love this style right here. But man, I'm out of here for now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be back very soon. If you want an interior only episode, let me know down below. Also, we might do one just for you guys who want some interior inspiration. <laughs> but I'm out of here for now. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Goodbye.